Data science at Bitly is a, it's an interesting job. We have access to uh, uh, data flowing through all types of networks. So we have data coming from Twitter, from Facebook, direct traffic, email. And through that data, we can get location information, um, country of or like country uh, with the refers, uh, how information is jumping from one network to the other. Uh, all that analytics that I've described is free. You know, if you put the plus at the end of a Bitly URL, you get to see all the free analytics. And we also have enterprise analytics for uh, our enterprise customers who have the custom URL shortener, so they can get a little bit more information about sentiment, reputation monitoring, a little bit more geographical information and stuff like that. You know, I remember uh, just, it seemed like a decade ago, but it was only a couple of years ago, the big rage in real-time search. You had Collectica, One Riot, which when Collectica went out of business, One Riot was sold to Walmart.com, and, and with Cosmics, you guys were around, you guys were being incubated, I believe, at the time. Um, people were building these real-time search engines like, like Google, like thinking that people are going to really actually sit there and watch a screen and go <laughs> really fast. But it's different, though. I mean, so, you know, it's not necessarily the same search experience, but it's about discovery, right? So can you share with us the data science involved around surfacing discovery, whether that's analytics, yeah. connecting people, some of the magic that has to happen in the, behind the scenes? Well, in the, in the, you know, the old traditional way of like uh, search engines, you basically wrote mini crawlers, you put them out on the internet and you tried to discover new leaks. Uh, with the social media, the real time web, uh, the content comes to you. It's basically instead of spiders and crawlers, you're more filtering pipes and it's a fire hose and how well you can handle it. And that's the nice thing about Bitly, especially uh, as we're starting to do a little bit more research, it's not, uh, older content, we have the freshest content because it's the stuff people upload just minutes ago. So uh, the data science component is how do you take interesting things from a torrent and make sense of it, make sense of it in real time and provide information to people in a timely manner that they can make some decisions based on it. I mean, we're totally geeks on this uh, whole movement of what this all means in terms of the new social web. I mean, SiliconANGLE, you know, our motto is where social science meets uh, it's computer science. So there's a lot of math involved, there's a lot of computer science, there's a lot of kind of sociology in this real-time web. The question I want to ask you is, because uh, a lot of folks are new to this, like real-time, what does it all mean? Talk about this notion you mentioned content finds you, right? That's kind of almost intelligent content based upon you're now connected to the network. You guys have source destination event when people share stuff on Facebook or share something on Twitter, which is now a norm in, in the internet society. People are sharing with mobile phones, et cetera. You have source destination events. So you guys are tracking these new channels and you know, marketing people and people in general say, oh, there's new channels are out there, social channels. Yeah. I mean, social channels basically means basically distribution of content in social networks or the web, mobile right. phones, social networks. So t explain to activity streams and this new paradigm. What is it? Is it real? How real? And what are some of the factors involved in that? I believe very much it's it's real. It's real, and the fact that just the number of devices people are using to connect to the network is is changing and adapting in ways you know ten years ago were just not everyday occurrences. I mean, just the amount of people who have internet-based mobile phones and how they use it and how they use social networks and how they gather information. I mean, you know, back 10 years ago, people had the, the palm that could connect to the network and that was, you know, a boutique item that was, you know, very expensive. Yeah. Phone.com, remember those days? Exactly, it's like, exactly, yeah. and now, you know. Crappy browser, you and, know, and now, typing and now, in URLs. And now, like. and now all, it's ubiquitous, <laughs> yeah. nearly. And so that, that changes how people access information and how they produce it, too. So. Uh, updates are not necessarily coming in, you know, huge long blog posts. They're coming in quick tweets about, you know, a plane going into the Hudson, and that real-time nature of it, and how that creates a critical mass. I mean, we're seeing examples, obviously.